Welcome to Eye on the County. I'm here with Mr. Bill Rader. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And uh, the reason why we're here to talk is because we are talking about the uh, Texas lawman group that he has uh, started with his friend Donnie. And uh, what's Donnie's last name? Donnie Collins. Donnie Collins, yeah. And uh, so how long have you guys been meeting? This was our second meeting uh, this, uh, this month. Nice. Uh, so uh, it hasn't been gone long. I called Donnie one day. Donnie and I have been friends for a long time. And I told him, I said, Donnie, I've been looking in the paper, and I said, man, uh, everybody we know is dying. And he said, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about the fact. I said, well, hey, why don't we get all the old retired peace officers together before everybody's dead? Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, tell some old stories and, and just uh, have some camaraderie. And... Uh, Donnie said, that, that'd be a good idea. So uh, he said, I'll, uh, I'll send out an a email to uh, the ones I know, and you do the same, and uh, we'll just see what comes of it. Well, uh, Donnie got a hold of Jack Brewer, and Jack Brewer used to be the chief of police in uh, uh, Athens back when I started back there. And... Uh, Jack is, <laughs> I guess, a very, very, very knowledgeable peace officer. As a matter of fact, I hope he won't mind this, but I've got one of his cards. Jack Brewer, Texas lawman, retired. 47 years, Texas law enforcement. U.S. Army Military Police. 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason, certified law enforcement instructor, Baylor University, Henderson County Junior College, FBI National Academy, and thousands of training hours. Wow. Now, uh, yeah. Now, this guy has been the chief of police, the district attorney's investigator, assistant chief of police. Chief Deputy Sheriff, Correctional Warden, Assistant Command Drug Task Force, uh, Commander of Drug yeah. Task Force, uh, a Detective Lieutenant, T-Close Law Enforcement Officer, and T-Close Certified Correctional Provision Professional. Jack ran a prison and uh, uh, was a warden there, and uh, you know. Jack, I guess, a lot got, of stuff. Oh yeah. man, yeah, yeah. Yo, and, an interesting fact that I saw earlier: uh, how, like, somebody did the math and talked about how many years of experience all of you guys had combined. It ended up. Uh, he sent me. I, I should have brought it. He sent me a uh, email. Uh, Jack did, and it said the com the combination of who was there the other day. Uh, ended up being 615 years experience. of experience. Just from the few of us that are there. That's, that's a lot of experience that's in a, one yeah, room right yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's why we meet to tell stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking to uh, Buddy Hill the other day, and oh. I was telling him I was uh, going to y'all's meeting on Friday, and he was like, oh, don't listen to what those guys say, man. They'll tell you tall tales. Yeah, well... <laughs> Buddy ought to know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, Buddy's a, of a younger group than we are. And uh, uh, bless their hearts, they do things different than we used to. Yes, sir. Uh, now, um, another thing that I was interested in is you guys are stepping up and helping the, the families of the fallen peace officers. Oh, yes, yes. Whatever, whatever any peace officer needs. Uh, we will give them help. Uh, for instance, if I'm on the road or, or here in town or wherever I am, if I see a peace officer, city, county, state, federal, whatever, that has a vehicle stopped and uh, there's more than one person in that car they stopped, mm -hmm. I turn around and go back. I don't care where I am. 
Yeah. And it wouldn't make any difference to me if it was the state of Missouri. Yeah, I don't right. care. I'm going to turn around and say, hey, I'm a retired peace officer. I'm armed. Do you want assistance? Yeah. And I've never had one say no. They say, oh, yeah, man. Uh, can you help me do this or help me do that? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just think that's the way it ought to be. Well, it's just a camaraderie. Yeah, well, I had a highway patrolman up here, uh, Amarillo, and he had some people stop them. When I drove by, man, there was five of them out. And he's there by himself. Oh, wow. He's called for backup. But he said the backup wouldn't be there uh, for quite a ways. It was 27 miles away. Oh, man. So, you know, he said, uh, you don't have any cuffs with you, do you? And I said, well, I just have to have. And uh, I had some big plastic ties. I mean, Zip ties. big yeah. plastic ties. You, know, you wrap them around the wrist, wrap them around the other wrist, and then put them together, and I'll guarantee you Godzilla can't break them. And uh, so I this is back and got my, yeah, my plastic cuffs, and I cuffed all the rest of them. He didn't have cuffs for them and let him go on with his business. Well, he'd call for a record, of course, and his inventory in the car and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's just the kind of things that that, uh, that we will do. If a family needs assistance here with someone that's sick or needs to be taken care of uh, physically or whatever, you know, uh, uh, monetarily, we're, we're gonna help them. Up. We're yeah. gonna help them, yeah, yeah. This is a, and, and it, it used to be a whole lot different than it is now. Yes, sir. This is a real close-knit organization. Back when I was working, every morning and every evening, we met at the Spanish Trace. And it was the Highway Patrol, the Sheriff's Department, the Athens Police Department, juvenile officers, everybody around. Yeah. And we met and had coffee and exchanged what went on on the shift before. Yeah. Who we arrested or what happened or if they had a fire or uh, how many burglaries were reported and all that. We did that every shift change, seven days a week. Man. They don't do that anymore. Nobody just, you know. Uh, now, I, I do have a question for you, Bill. Do you guys have any like uh, fundraisers planned or is that more in the future? No. No, we haven't even talked about it. Uh, <laughs> now, when do you guys meet? We meet the second Tuesday of every month at the Old West Steakhouse at 12 o'clock noon. Okay. And yeah. you guys sit down and eat and just... We sit down and eat. Talk Everybody about. visits. And, and there will be more come than was there. Uh, one of our old officers uh, uh, is uh, over in Tyler, I, I believe... Uh, Neil Farmer, he's a, I believe he's a lieutenant over to Tyler. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, oh gosh, we've got old Texas Rangers and old Highway Patrolmen and everywhere all around that, that, that we all worked with years ago. Well, our sheriff, Ray Nutt's one of them. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm going to tell you now, and I'm not trying to put anybody down uh, or take anything from anybody. But Sheriff Ray Nutt is one of the best peace officers that this county has ever seen. That man uh, gets it done. He don't like drugs. He don't like uh, criminals. He don't like nobody that don't obey the law. And he will uh, get up all day. I yeah. mean, and 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 he. He makes his men work. If they don't work, uh, they can hit the road. And that's just the way it is. So, uh, you know, he's done more for the Sheriff's Department than anybody that I've known in 35 years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, just a word for him. Uh, now, uh, I think what, he's a fine fellow. What, what all was your rank? Uh, well, I was on Athens PD when I first started back in 79. Before that, I came down here and was a, a deputy constable back in 75 under uh, 
Constable Bill Bearden. Uh, I was sworn in in 1975 by Judge Falk, Joe Falk. Okay. Malachi. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless his heart. Anyway, uh, that's when my career first started. And uh, I uh, moved to the APD in 79. Moved to APD in 79 and uh, uh, first of July and uh, was hired as a traffic enforcement officer by uh, the, the federal government. And so uh, that's all I did. They paid my wages and whatever. <laughs> and I started with Athens PD at $675 a month. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that neat? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, you one better than that. that in a week. <laughs> I'll tell you one better than that. When I started as constable, and I was constable 16 years in Precinct 5, I had my first check when I was actually the elected constable, and it was a dollar a year. Eight. <laughs> What are you, Michael Bloomberg? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, I don't know. We just, we work security and yeah. things like that, and that's the only way we got along. But anyway, uh, what, is, get, go ahead. what is your most favorite story? Like, oh, I can't tell it. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's okay, man. No, I can't, I can't, I can't really. No. Uh, and it may not be the most favorite, but it would be outstanding, and, and everybody just wouldn't need to hear it. Okay. But anyway, and there's lots of peace officers out there that are uh, got a lot more stories than I have. Yeah. Uh, Jack Brewer, Jim Brewer, uh, one of my old deputies, Eric Carter, which won't come to the meeting because he don't like to get out in the public. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else you want to talk about, Bill? Well, we're not going to be a political group. Uh, we're going to help. We'll, we'll help anybody that needs help as far as that's concerned. But as far as peace officers are concerned, all they got to do is call and let us know what they need, and uh, we'll do it. Uh, there's a varied group of us from all walks of life. Texas Rangers, sheriffs, deputy sheriffs, regular uh, policemen, uh, highway patrol, uh, FBI, uh, which I've had to talk to them a time or two, and uh, uh, just anybody and everybody, uh, we will help or assist in any way that we can. The district attorney's office, same way. Yeah. Uh, I was a non-paid uh, investigator for the district attorney when Donna Bennett was there. And Ray Nutt was her investigator. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they'd have something they needed to look after uh, that they didn't want to see, maybe Ray or somebody out after. <clears throat> so they'd call me, and uh, I would go investigate these things, whether it be a assault or murder, arson, <clears throat> whatever. Uh, and that's that's what I did for them for, for 10 years until until Donna uh, quit and went to uh, uh, the college. Okay. She, yeah, she teaches uh, uh, yeah, I'm law pretty, courses. Yeah, pretty good friends with uh, Donna. She's a good lady. Uh, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, she can tap dance too. Did you know that No, one? I've never yeah. tap danced with her. Do you tap dance too? No. Well, then no, why would you be a, tap dancing with Well, that's what I said. I've never tapped. <laughs> Hug her once in a while. Kiss her on the cheek. Hey. Take, take her to lunch uh, uh, or once or twice a month, you know, if I can. Right on. <clears throat> but, well, uh, tell her I say hello next I time we'll will, see you. I will. She's a sweetheart. Well, is there an email address that they can contact you guys through? Uh, if, if they have any concerns about peace officers or their families? Well... <clears throat> we haven't got an email address for uh, the group, but we have an email address uh, for everyone in the group. Okay. Uh, they can contact me or Donnie or Jack or Jim uh, and uh, any one of us. <clears throat> now that's Jack Brewer, Jim Brewer, Donnie Collins, 
or myself, Bill Rader, and all of us have our email addresses. Uh, and you can, whatever you send to any one of us, it will get to the others. Okay. okay. That uh, sounds good. But we're going to be a, we're going to be a non-political uh, organization. We're not going to have any guests for political speeches and things. We will have some law enforcement guests uh, from, well, like uh, uh, Buddy Hill from the police department and uh, uh, Sheriff Ray Nutt. Mm -hmm. uh, we want them to come to the meetings to give a talk to us old retired people in what the changes in the laws have been, yeah. you know. Uh, not that we'll be out there breaking any of them, heaven forbid, <laughs> but <clears throat> it's nice to know what the changes are because they change every year or so. Yeah. Right on. And, uh, uh, well, my mom's a lawyer, so I know about really? all those changes. Yeah. Yeah. They they heal. That's Mayhall. Mayhall. Yes. Yeah. Mayhall, yes, yeah. yeah. Amen. All right. Yeah. I know her. <laughs> I know her, too. Quite yeah, well. I bet she <laughs> I bet she knows me, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill, I can't thank you enough for uh, uh, joining us Gordon, this morning. Thank you yeah, very it much. It was all a pleasure. This guy yeah. has a man's handshake. I gotta okay. tell you, nothing, <laughs> no, thank nothing you. upsets me more than whenever you go in for a handshake uh, no. and you get. We got a right name here. for people like that. Well, what's that? Death. And death. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, stay blessed and Wimpy. know. Yeah, Wimpy. Right. Wimpy. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll call it that. There you that's, go. That's not the real word. <laughs> well, guys, as always, stay blessed and know we got our eye on the county because that's what's up.